Abraham Lincoln's simple writing style and enduring themes, the spirit of the common man, the importance of hard work, and the necessity of cooperation was as inspirational to his fellow citizens as it is to ours. So, um, so the, uh, the subject, the word and, can makes, makes a subject compound and plural, his writing style and enduring themes. So that's a plural subject needs to be uh, were rather than was. So we can get rid of any singular uh, verb forms here. Was is singular, has been. Um, both of those can be eliminated. Now we have to look at the um, verb tenses. We have were, have been, and had been. Have been, the present perfect tense, doesn't work as well because it suggests that it, um, it goes right up until the present. His fellow citizens are all long dead. So we can't actually have um, his words be inspirational to his fellow citizens right up until recently because they aren't here anymore. So we get rid of E. <clears throat> then we have the di difference between were and had been, but let's actually just look at the second half of the sentence too. Um, the second part is how the themes are relevant to our fellow citizens. So um, our fe fellow citizens are still contemporary. They're still around, so we need are rather than was. Um, also, it's a plural subject, so we would be, need they rather than it. Two reasons to eliminate choice D and select choice B.